Welcome to Math with Mrs. Cox. We are on Chapter 8, Lesson 1, Fractions and Division. A fraction is a number that names equal parts of a whole or parts of a set. A fraction represents division of the numerator by the de denominator. Denominator goes on the bottom. That's how I, I always remember denominator is it's the number that's down below. Let's begin. Dylan, Drake, and Jade are sharing two small pizzas equally after the lacrosse game. H how much does each person get? Two pizzas are divided among three people. Each pe person gets two-thirds of a pizza. So two divided by three is two-thirds. The amount of pizza each person gets is between what two whole numbers? Well, this is where they want you to draw a number line and do zero, one, two. So two thirds is not quite one whole pizza. So we were to divide this into three little sections, two thirds would begin right here and go one, two. And that's where it would end. So it's between the whole number of zero and one. Example two, Ray and Bailey are sharing three brownies equally. How much does each person get? Three brownies are divided between two people. So three divided by two, each person gets three over two of a brownie. Now I know that looks funny, but hear me out. Hang in with me for a minute. The model that right shows what each person gets, one whole brownie, and then there's one brownie remaining that they can share equally. So they each get one whole and then one half. And that's what we see right here. And how we get that number is we have three over two, and that's a top heavy number. And we can take a whole number out of that. And a whole number that's really easy is two out of two, just because the denominator is the same as what's right here. So it's easier to do it that way. And three to subtract two equals one. And we just bring the denominator over is a half. Now this number right here really means one. And then we can add and one half. So three over two is really one and one half of a brownie. Now they wish for us to draw between two, which two whole numbers that this is represented. So zero, one, two. Well, each person gets one brownie and then about a half. So the, num the two whole numbers are one and two. Guided practice. Two bags of bird seed are used to fill three bird feeders. How much bird seed does each feeder use? Represent the situation using the model, then solve. So two bags of bird seed. Here's our bags right here. One bag, two bags. Now each bag is going to be divided into three sections. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three. That was a funny three. Let's try that again. Much better. There we go, there's our model. So each feeder uses two out of the three bags of bird seed, two thirds of a bag. So two divided by three is two thirds. And if we look at it that way, bat, bird seed feeder number one gets this much and this much. And that's two out of the three. Number two, four families equally share five pies. How much pie will each family receive? Well, now think about it this way. What number are you chopping up? Are you chopping up pies? I should certainly hope so, because we don't want to split the family up. So the number we're going to split up is on the top. Now that number looks top heavy, so we can simplify it. We can take 5 fourths and take a whole number out of it, which is 4 fourths, and 5 subtract 4 equals 1. Then we bring the denominator over, which is 4. 
So we look, there's our whole number and there's our fraction. So that leaves us with one and a fourth of a pi. So five divided by four is five fourths. Now, if we were to look on a number line, one, two, three. Each person, we divide this into little fourth marks, each person or family is going to receive one whole pie and a fourth. And what two whole numbers is it between? One and two. Okay, six bags of soil are used to fill five flower pots. How much soil does each flower pot use? Between what two whole numbers does the answer lie? Okay, are we gonna cut up bags of soil or are we gonna cut up flower pots? You're right, so the number we're cutting up goes on the top and the number it's going into goes on the bottom. Five, six. Now if we simplify that, five will go into six once and there'll be one left over and bring the denominator of five over. So each flower pot is gonna get one and one-fifth of a bag of soil. So six divided by five is six-fifths. Here's our answer, and we're, if we were to draw it on the number line, zero, one, two, five. There's five little sections. So we would draw our beginning part here. It gets one bag and one-fifth. So it lies between the one and the two. There we go. We're not gonna worry about drawing models here because I don't wanna to take too much time on this chapter. So just follow along with me. 40 yards of fabric are used to make nine school banners. How many yards of fabric does each banner use? Okay, are we cutting up yards of fabric or are we cutting up banners? Right, we're cutting up yards of fabric so it goes on the numerator or the top. Now the number that's down on the denominator is the banners. Those are the whole pieces. So we look at that and think, well, how many times does 9 go into 40? 9 will go into 40 at least 3 times, 4 times. It'll go into it 4 times because 5 would be way too much. So 4 times 9 is 36. And if we were to subtract that, I know there's four numbers different. So we'll go into it four times, it'll be four left over, and we bring this denominator over. So four and four ninths. So 40 divided by nine is 40 ninths. And this number is between what numbers on the number line? If we drew a number line, zero, one, two, three, four. Four. And four ninths would start right here at zero and go one, two, three, four. Oh, we gotta draw a little bit more on our line. And it would go almost to five, but not quite. So it'll be located between the four and the five. Number five, DeMont uses four gallons of gasoline to travel in three days driving to work. Each day he uses the same amount of gasoline. How many gallons of gasoline did he use each day? All right, so our whole number is, or our, our bottom number, our denominator is going to be three. And then the gasoline is going to be on the top because we can't divide up the days very easily, but we can definitely divide up the gasoline. So that's the number that goes on top. Now that number's pretty top heavy, so that means we need to now simplify. So four thirds would also look like this. Three would go into four. If I did three, we'll go into four at one time. One times three is three. There's one left over. So then my answer is gonna be one and bring this left over up here, one third. Third gallons. Suzanne made two gallons of punch to be divided equally among 10 people. How much of the punch did each person receive? Okay, are we dividing up punch or people? 
That's right. The people are going to drink the punch, and there's a total of 10. And they're going to put the two gallons on the top, right? Now, you don't have to figure this out and be super complicated. You just need to simplify. Now, when you simplify fractions, you look at it and go, hmm, they're both even, so I, let's divide them in half. So two will go into two once, two will go into ten five times. And I don't think we can get it any simpler than that. So we're going to say one-fifth of a gallon. Brain Builder. The baseball team is selling 30 loaves of banana bread. Each loaf is sliced and equally divided into 12 storage containers. Okay, 12 storage containers and then 30 loaves of bread. Each loaf, okay, if each slice is the same size, how many loaves of banana bread are in each container? And then between what two whole numbers? Okay, so 12, we have 30 twelfths. So let's divide it out. So 30, 12 will go into 30. Let's see, one time is 12, two times is 24, three times is 36, that's too much. So let's do two. That'd be 24. 30 minus 24 is six. So there's our whole number, and this is our remainder, and it's out of six, or out of 12s. So we're gonna have two loaves and six twelfths of another loaf left over. But we can simplify that. I know six will go into six once, and six will go into 12 twice. So that is our simplified version. So each container is going to have two and a half loaves of bread. Now the whole number question. So if we draw a line right here, say this is zero, one, two, three. We're going to start our line right here and we have one loaf, two loaf, and a half. That's what it's going to look like as a number line. So we can see that it's going to lie between a two and a three. So we're going to say two and three. That's our answer, and this is our answer. Number eight. You know that 15 divided by three is five. Then think of a fact family. Five times three is 15. If you know that seven divided by eight is seven eighths, what you can you conclude is the product of seven eighths and eight okay product means multiplication okay so they're trying to introduce a little bit of multiplication to you of fractions this is how you would set it up right now whenever you're multiplying a whole number there's always an invisible one right here that way it, it balances out for your brain now when multiplying whole fractions, uh, there's a little trick. Can you see that there's a number here and a number here that both can be simplified? So you can simplify now. Eight will go into eight once. Eight will go into eight once here. So you can simplify now and it saves you from having to simplify your answer later. So seven times one is seven. One times one is one. And seven over the one is like the same as saying, well, seven. So our answer here is seven. And they want to have you explain it. So you can say that multiplication and division are inverse operations. The product of the quotient and the divisor is the dividend. Okay, there you go.